Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in this episode we will be talking about the Dracaena marginata or the dragon tree. So the Dracaena is a wonderful tropical plant and it is a native of a lot of regions in the world. Some of the species are natives of Africa, then some are found in Asia, some are even found in Central America, etc. So if at all you want an upscale and beautiful tropical plant for your indoor gardening, then this plant is really ideal for you. This thrives under shade conditions. However, it would require some bright light conditions for it to flourish. So in the later parts of this video, I will let you know on how to take care of this and today we will be focusing majorly on its propagation. So this Dracaena that you see here is actually not mine, it is one of my neighbors. So the Dracaena comes in three colors as in the leaves are tricolored so some of them have a little bit of pink they have a little bit of white and they have a little bit of green so that is why it is called tricolored so the plant that you see here right now is actually my plant and it is a wonderful pink colored dracaena marginata the previous one was predominantly green so it's very easy and simple to propagate the Dracaena. You just have to take a stem cutting of it and you can grow new plants very easily. And you do not really have to worry about this stem being naked or the stem being really bare because as you can see just below the cutting I have two new Dracaena plants and this is the beauty of this plant. This grows really well and is very very forgiving. Make sure when you're doing the cutting, cut it at an angle so that the water that falls on it falls down quickly and does not cause any infection to the plant. So now let us talk about some of the care tips. So this plant loves the shade. So you have to keep this, if you're keeping this indoors, then you have to keep this in a southwest location where it gets indirect bright sunlight. Or you can even keep this in an east facing location. However, southwest is more preferred to get a very prolific growth from this plant. So the leaves that you see here are actually affected by a condition called fluorosis. So this plant is very susceptible to that particular condition wherein the water that you use would have a lot of fluoride content and this would absorb that fluoride and you would get these bald patches or these patches of discoloration. So as you can see this stem has so many nodes and if you cut at any part of this node then it will definitely produce new plants on either sides. Another thing that you have to take care of while taking care of this plant is watering. So do not overwater this plant when especially it is indoors because overwatering would actually burn the leaves. So the tip of the leaves if it turns brown in color then that means you are overwatering the plant. If the leaves turn a little bit of a yellow then that means you are underwatering the plant. So do not overwater or do not underwater the plant. Always Always check with your fingers if the soil is wet then do not pour water. So to control this fluorosis what you can do is you can use nitrogen rich fertilizers to increase the nitrogen element. So these are the cuttings that I had taken and I had propagated and you can see beautiful new saplings have emerged and you can see so many sprouts from the different nodes of this wonderful cutting. So from these four cuttings I was successful with two. These two that you see here has not grown into a new plant so I'll just be throwing this. So always take more cuttings even if you take a very small cutting of just two or three inches that will definitely sprout out into a new plant. So you must remember that this plant grows really tall. So if it is in a very big container, this can grow really tall and it could probably reach your roof. So now let us talk about the pests that attack this plant. So the pests that will attack this plant will be mealybugs, then you have the scale bugs and it also is susceptible to 
fungal infection so if at all you have fungal infection then you have to give it some air circulation make sure that it is not resting against a wall etc and it has ample amount of air circulating around it for the scale bugs you can use a rubbing alcohol with a q-tip and remove them for the mealy bugs you can use a neem oil pesticide so this is the other Dracaena I had propagated and I will show you the roots of this plant. So it has really thick roots and it can kind of become very pot bound very soon. So one more thing about this plant is that this is one of those really important plants that you can bring indoors and according to NASA this is one of those top most air purifiers in your house. So here is a close up of those fleshy roots and as you can see this is ready to be replanted in another container and you will get Dracaena marginatas in abundance. Now let us talk about the fertilizer requirements of this plant. So I would generally fertilize this with some organic matter or with some compost every two months. So while taking the cuttings of the Dracaena marginata, you do not really have to worry about callousing this or anything of that sort because it does not give out any sap. So one thing that you can do is you can directly place it in a well-draining potting medium and place it in a semi-shaded location. Do not expose it to full sun because that would be detrimental to the growth of the new sapling. Another thing that you have to take care of is underwatering. So if at all you underwater, the leaves actually will droop and it will not regain its shape. That is these erect shapes again. Do not mist the leaves with any kind of water. Once in a while what you can do is you can take this into the bathroom and give it a wonderful shower or you can just take it outside in your balcony and give it a shower and make sure that it dries completely only then you have to bring it indoors. So this plant is also known to be a little toxic for your pets so keep this plant away from the reach of your cats and dogs. So that is it folks, the Dracaena marginata is a tall beauty that would add that glamour quotient in your tropical garden. I hope you liked this episode and if you have any more further questions then please do not hesitate to write in the comment section. Thank you for watching Urbanscape Bangalore and until we meet again, a very warm goodbye.